Brian Davis with Lazy Man Stands. We're out here in uh, West Texas. And one of the things that we get from our customers is they want uh, some ideas on uh, bases for our blinds. So we've got several variations of uh, bases out here on the ranch and I thought I'd take a few minutes and just uh, give you guys an example of, uh, of some of the bases. So we're not going to go into detailed plans. You know, um, you're going to have to you know, have some carpentry sense about you to build a base anyhow. We're just trying to give you some examples and some ideas. So let's get going. Okay, so here's the base I was just standing in front of. And uh, what we've done here is we actually took a prefabbed metal base and then we came across a deal on some of these uh, composite uh, decking boards. And so we bolted the composite decking boards to the top of the metal base. And you see we left a little gap right there uh, to accept the uh, bottom flange where the blinds get bolted together. That's one of the things that you need to do whenever uh, you're using, uh, you know, one of the uh, branded uh, metal bases that are available on the market, you know, Millennium's, Land's, uh, Landmark, etc. <clears throat> By doing that, it raises the uh, base up just, just enough to accept that uh, flange. <clears throat> it also gives you a really nice uh, base to, you know, run your uh, wood wood screws with washers through into the base to uh, actually mount the uh, blind. It's a lot easier than uh, running bolts through the uh, through the metal base. You can do that. <clears throat> you know you can drill holes through the uh, blind and use you know carriage bolts uh, if you'd like. But uh, we tend to just use you know really large uh, wood screws and, and screw the uh, base for the blind excuse me down to the uh, base so then it's one example of a prefabbed metal base that we've kind of modified and uh, we've got several of these on the ranch and really like them hey folks here's another example uh, I chose this base because it's not real high off the ground I'm able to kind of zoom in and show you how we do the uh, decking again so that uh, the flange uh, on the bottom of the blinds, uh, you know, don't become an issue. So, again, here's one that's uh, more of a traditional um, base, you know, pretty much all wood. We do really like these uh, elevators um, versus the uh, lag bolts through the uh, legs into the uh, frame. Um, we have, you know, plans that show it that way but uh, we've uh, really kind of since adopted these uh, elevators that really make it uh, handy and make for a really solid uh, base so then just kind of zoom in so you can see how we just deck the top with uh, two by fours two by sixes whatever we were able to get cheap from the uh, lumber store and that makes for a real solid base and again you know, the beauty of the two-piece design is it just makes for an extremely durable base, or base blind, excuse me. And, uh, but the disadvantage is, you know, you do have to be a little bit creative on uh, mounting the blind to a base so that it accepts that flange. And then here are just some simple, uh, simple ideas. Well, okay, so I wanted to show you um, a base for a blind that's sitting on the ground. We do... A lot of uh, first-time hunter hunts out here. Uh, we work with the local veterans organization and do uh, several wounded warrior hunts. And so a lot of our blinds are set up, uh, you know, not on a platform that you have to climb up to get in, but, but right on the ground. But even when blinds are on the ground, we really recommend building you, you know, some kind of a little base for it <clears throat> to where um, it's not sitting directly on the ground. So this is one of our trophy hut blinds. <clears throat> this is just a, a base built out of four by fours uh, with runners uh, down the middle. And then you can see we drilled uh, holes, uh, a couple on each side and uh, drove real long pieces of rebar. And then uh, again, just using the uh, uh, big wood screws and uh, washers uh, mounted the blind to the uh, base. So again, it's another example.